Hey guys, welcome back. If you're wondering about why I skipped the intro in the uh, first episode, the musical anime intro thing, uh, it's because it has a song in it that gets it blocked on YouTube in many countries, including the United States, which may include some portion of my audience. Uh, apparently that was the true the case last time too. Apparently last time there was also a like a Japanese pop song or whatever, but. When it came to the United States, they, I guess they took out the lyrics or something, so the US version was just the instrumental, and that didn't get it blocked. But I would have gotten in trouble if it was the original Japanese intro last time in Tales of Zestiria, either. But, yeah. That's why there was no anime-style intro this time around, and we just went straight to the game. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Luffy. I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Look, your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean! See? It's designed to stay level, so your heading will be true even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. No kidding. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. I can tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. I wish... I wish I could do that. <sighs> You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years tops. It won't take me that long. Oh yeah? You better prove it to me then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine. No matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks. Am I clear? Yes, ma'am. Right. Cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Alright, so once again, we're using the idea where there's a, some kind of monsters all over the place that humans turn into, and only a certain subclass of warrior-type character can fight them at all. Although, they don't seem to be invisible again like last time, or at least that doesn't seem to be the, Im the implication. Because in Zestiria, they were invisible to normal people on top of not being fightable. What, what's readable over here? Observations of the Nameless Empyrean. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? <laughs> Poor kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickleboard hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those pricklebores don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? Wow, this font is weirdly nostalgic somehow. I saw ladylike and thought of the word Lady Lake from Zestiria. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. 
Mm, I know, but but just for today. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once, and I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Well, I already know how to get there, because I learned it in advance, and not because I made it accidents before. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. Oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best behavior. I will. I'm glad you've got a good friend. Yeah, we've known each other since forever. Still... Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? I mean, among other things, they're sick. If you weren't keeping up with that. Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. <sighs> as long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah, but what more can I do? I've got a duty to look after my little brother. And I'm serious about it. I know, but I'm trying to look after you too. I want you to be happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. What you're doing is professing your love by promising genocide. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. I think we can probably safely predict that the second Scarlet Knight's gonna change their life once again. Okay, let's see. Today, I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for... Hmm? Laffy? You little... Where have you gone? You better not have gone to the village alone. Uh, I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. We're getting to play the overbearing sister, basically. Well, probably not overbearing. 
g given the context, probably not overbearing. That's an interesting roll. Hey, has Luffy Set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait, that's one of Arthur's. Actually, it's a copy that Lafayette made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? Oh, he must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free. But he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? <sighs> I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. Velvet, I saw Luffy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. That's an odd detail. He's going out of his way to find... Oh, the chest still shows up. I know. He might have gone to the cave to pick flowers. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. Well, the dogs are freaking out. Okay. Weird how he's, he's... He made a big deal about the compass, but then didn't buy one when he had the chance to get one for free in a trade. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques and exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way! Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I would worry. And be lonely. Wow, that, we're coming across as needy at this point. Interesting. The, in, the animator shows a ship, so I, I, I guess all this obsession with navigation is actually going to come in handy at some point. Hey Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night! I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. According to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me, just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. Sorry. Aww. Oh, what if these Scarlet Knights are where all the monsters come from? Like, th th that, maybe that's the specific time where people transform into monsters, since that's the only time we've witnessed one becoming a monster so far was during the pre- that Scarlet Knight in the intro. That's when we got to see a character specifically transform. Not right now, Boar. I've got a sibling to save. Uh-oh. Fluffy! Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. Oh, you little... You know better than this, Luffy Set. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? You wouldn't be the only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. If you want to do something, just ask. 
I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? I am. But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. Good. It's off to the Cape, then. Hooray! Remember how we went out together to pick Princessias on the morning of Celica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the Cape. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, sis. But down the cliff from where you were, a lone pair of Princessia were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in, and it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? Uh, an irreplaceable treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, Luffy. Yeah. Me too, sis. Okay, so they don't show up as a party right now. Just double checking. Let's uh, go ahead and set this to slicing foot. Oh, never mind. So a stun's actually not that big of a deal because a lot of my attacks have stuns. Okay, so slicing foot's not special. Because tearing thorn and gouging spin are stuns and harsh. Wow, actually, most of my attacks are status effects. Let me through. How about I make you some apple boo when we get home, Luffy? Apple boo? What's that? Grated apples. Whenever I caught a cold when I was little, Celica would make it for me. It's sweet and tart and juicy and crisp. Eating it always made me feel better. Well, apples are good for you. But what does the boo mean? When I was a baby, I would always say boo-boo when I wanted to eat an apple. <laughs> so that's where the name comes from. Wait. You called apples boo-boo? You must have been a strange baby. You used to do the same thing. When Selica and I heard you, we laughed so hard. Boo! It's starting to actively weird me out how cutesy the interactions are so far, given the context of whatever the heck we saw in that intro that was the opposite of cutesy. <laughs> Which seems to be somewhere in the future, and seems to be this character. Might as well make a save. Especially since it's so fast. Meanwhile, in Final Fantasy XV, it takes like 10 minutes to save. Uh, just look at all these! This place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey Velvet, thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. 
or escape from predators. Thought so. But you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Uh... A demon! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. No, you can't! Go! Why is a demon here? I don't want to go alone! You have to! Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too! But please, go! So I can't hurt her, right? That's just, that's it? Its weakness is nothing. Resistance, very weak to hidden arts. Demi human, blued wolf. So do I, just, do I just have to wait? It's... It's just like Arthur said. But I have to do this! Oh! Stop! Face me, demon! Is this why? I get home. Velvet! Luffy, you're all right. Ah, sorry. It's all my fault. No. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of it. I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. That's some really huge claims all of a sudden. Well, now I know why he didn't get the uh, compass. Although he could have gotten it for free. Scarlet Knight? What's going on? Was that... was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! We, she seems surprised, but we all knew this was going to happen, right? This seems like a nightmare. Like, maybe she's having a nightmare that the entire village turns into demons? What on earth is going on? This is no time to be scared. I have to find Luffy! Okay, no, they didn't turn into demons. They got attacked. That's different. Oh, yeah, everyone's oh, down. The village. Well, we're not going that way. I guess we're going back into the forest for the third time. Every single person's down. Wow, yeah, every single one of them. Maybe I, maybe I have to reach the same ruins again? D 
they are up. everywhere. Never give up. Running away. I can't fight them. I think if I, even if I get in a fight with them, I think I have to run away from the fight. Can I climb up that thing? No, I think it's a drop point. Oh, excuse me. Hi. Looks like you're going to lose. You're always treading away. <laughs> it's looking, it looks, it looks like you're about to lose. Would you, oh God. Sorry, I'm thinking of Clippy. Like, it looks like you're about to lose. Would you like some help? Ow. Oh. Go faster. I'm trying, I'm trying to stick to the edge of, to run away, but also try not, try not to get hit a lot in the process. Just hug the wall. I've, I've traveled this route three times already. And we're not even an hour into the game yet. Fluffy! Arthur! Velvet! You. Oh, thank goodness. You kept Fluffy safe, didn't you, Arthur? One more sentiment to cast off. Velvet! Run! Arthur! <laughs> Here, once, was the seal to the underworld broken. And tonight, here shall be born the power to save the world. With Lucas's life as a sacrifice. What? What are you saying? for him to the world. Why would you? Nothing can save him now. No, no, no! I see you will not change. Ever a slave to emotion.
Bloodborne vibes are back so hard now. <laughs> A demon that feeds on demons. Therian. Oh my goodness. Look at the swipe. Anyone else get the vibe that maybe, that maybe, uh, oops. That maybe the brother knew what was going to happen? He said he was going to make a better world. Why did you kill him? His blood on your hands. That's me. I find it suspicious that he said he was going to make a better world, and then just said, just said, run. Take a look around. has spread through the village. But do not fear. With my power as an exorcist, I, Artorius Colbrand, will end your pain. Is it that birds fly? Behold my answer, Velvet. Arthur. I ask no forgiveness. The sin is mine to bear. So are those Seraphim, but with just a different name? I will... I will... make you pay!